Welcome back from that short commercial break. I'm glad you're still watching Speak Uganda tonight. Now, the journalist bodies of Uja and Upa have asked the IGP Martin Sokoso Chola to resign from his office on over failure to handle public matter concerns. This is because he, when he got into the office, he promised to end police brutality on journalists as well as to promote press freedom. But all this has been in vain ever since he stepped into office. Joshua Mitala has this report. Free, Free media. After a series of demonstrations by the Uganda journalists led by its binding board of the Uganda Journalists Association, Uja, and the Uganda Parliamentary Press Association, Wupa, these came out last week on Friday and gave a police an ultimatum of four working days to respond to their petition. Following that, no response has come out of police up to date, forcing the journalists to hold a presser to announce their next move. And we, we told the police even in our petition that it is not their business to tell us how to do our work. But the fact that up to now they are unwilling to say anything concerning such demands, it implies that there is no commitment from police for them to end the brutality against journalists. At the Uja offices today in Kawempe, through the Wupa president Moses Molondo, the fourth estate has asked the police boss, Martin Okotho Chela, to resign because he has failed to fulfill what he promised when he had just taken on his man towards the IGP. The fact that the leadership of police is unwilling to redeem their image and respond to those reports and, uh, and change uh, the public perception about them, it is only an act of civilization for the current IGP Martin Okoso Kola, to resign. The watchdogs have further explained that they are to present their petition to further authorities such as the parliament and the president's office. We shall be petitioning parliament, we shall write a well-detailed petition and take it to parliament and we expect that when we take it to parliament it will be deeply debated by the legislators and the decision will be taken. In fact, I have a meeting with the president because he's the chief executive, he's the appointing authority. Uh, and not only on the issue of the brutality by police officers against, uh, against journalists. When we meet the president, if we get an opportunity to meet him, we would like to have a constructive engagement with him concerning different issues that, uh, that, that, that have to do with the state of the media industry in the country. The, the UCC Act. Section 6 provides for the establishment of the, of the communications tribunal. But six years down the road, the president has never appointed that tribunal, which is supposed to have experts, law experts and journalists who are supposed to, to handle cases of misconduct. The journalists also continue to encourage news editors not to send journalists to cover police, especially the good. However, they encourage them to cover the bad. They added that they will disassociate any journalist that will cover the good about police because he or she will have betrayed them. Joshua Mitala for Speak Uganda, Record TV. Thank you, Joshua Mitala, for that report.